Hey, welcome everyone in this new video tutorial about the multiplayer combat editor. In this video, we're going to implement combat into an actor. So we're going to open up our content browser, go to our third person blueprint folder, and we are actually going to highlight that folder with right click set color, and we're going to make that folder yellow, and we're going to save that color like this. And then we want to go to Blueprint, third person character, open that up. And we want to add a new component to our third person character, as you, you, you might guess. So we want to add a combat manager. So don't, don't pay attention to the example combat manager I provided if you are not uh, interested in this for now. So we're, we're going to add the BPC Combat Manager, like this. And we're going to right-click it right away, add event. Add dispatch on ready. Right-click once again, add event. Add dispatch on initialization. Then we want to go to our class settings folder, uh, tab, I mean. And we want to add a new interface, which is BPI Combat, like this and it's going to add a lot of functions compared to the stat manager we created in another video. It added a lot of functions. So we're going to implement each of the function, the combat interface created. So we're going to double click the should consume it. That function basically asks, is this target counting as the maximum amount of targets a skill can hit? So if you specify that a projectile can only hit one target, but it eats a target where you, where you specify that it should not consume the hit, the projectile will pierce the target anyway. So our character is going to be a, 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 gameplay intense, a gameplay relative target, so we want to check that. So maybe you don't want to check that for, let's say, a destructible uh, barrel, for instance. So we're going to double click the Find Combat Manager function. And in here, we're just going to drag and drop the component we created in the pin it generated. And this is the function used by all components to retrieve the combat manager of an actor. We're going to go to our find weapon function. And in here, this is the function we're going to use, you, you can use if you need to create a weapon system. For now, we don't have a weapon system and it's outside of the scope of that video, so we're going to let that uh, clear for now. We're going to go to our find team function and this is the function used by the other blueprints to quickly get the information regarding the, the team of that actor and to give the, that information, we need to right click and write get team and it's giving us two different variables get owning team and get team and we actually want to click get team uh, no we actually want to get owning team i'm sorry like this get owning team and we want to drag and drop that wire in the return team and we want to go to our on desk function and for now, we don't want to do anything but to quick to clearly see if this happens. So that function is, is automatically called when that actor is being killed. And when that happens, we clearly want to see it. So we're going to drag and drop our mesh. And we're going to say set, we're going to drag and drop a wire out of, uh, of our mesh. And we're going to say set visibility like this. And we're going to say it's hidden when it gets destroyed. So we are not going to check that box. Then we're going to go to our take damage function. And that that's the function which is called when a combat manager want, wants to deal damage to that actor. And we can quickly fill it with receive damage by typing right click receive damage and clicking the receive effect 
of our combat manager and clicking on the receive damage function of our combat manager, I mean, like this. And we can just plug it in the middle and plug the wires as the, the blue wire with the blue pin and the red wire with the red pin, like this. And then you can hit compile, hit save, go back to our event graph. And you want to drag and drop your combat manager. You want to drag and drop, you want to drag a pin, a wire out of your combat manager. You want to type in setup. And you have one function to call, which is set team. So you can click that like this. You can plug that in your initialization dispatcher of the combat manager back in your event graph. And you can say what team that ac this actor is. So you can say, it is, is it red or blue or black or white? So these teams have different settings. The, the, uh, they are alliance, alliances properties, which you can set up, but it's outside of the scope of that video and we'll see in another tutorial. So for now, we're just going to say that actor is in the red team like this. We, we're going to hit compile and then we're going to add another function just to see that the setup properly worked, at least the team setup. So we can right click and we can say add. Uh, we can actually drag and drop our combat manager. We can drag a wire out of it and we can type in add. And we have a bunch of function which, which are add body hit feedback add team color material, and that's the one we want. We want to click that, like this. You want to add this to our dispatcher on ready of our combat manager. <clears throat> and that function is actually going to change the team color of our mesh, of, of the component we pass as parameter in here to the color of the alliance's properties. So we're just going to drag and drop our mesh into this, vari this pin like this. And we're going to hit compile, hit play. And now, now our, our two players are, are red and we can do another few things we can add, we can drag and drop another wire out of our combat manager and type in add. And we can add two variable, two functions, which are display floating combat texts and display hit feedback. And these two functions control if that actor is supposed to display uh, floating text with the value, the amount of damage dealt, and if it is supposed to trigger the hit feedback of the target, it hits. And the hit feedback is basically a white flash on the enemies when they are hit. And you can activate this by using that these functions. So this is going to wrap up the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.